Hey, paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers movie! Wahoo! Oh, we're the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. The Italian Plumber Brothers are back on the big screen. Mario, played by Chris Pratt, and Luigi, played by Charlie Day, are transported to another world where they encounter Princess Peach, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, and Bowser, played by Jack Black. Bowser is headed to the Mushroom Kingdom to invade it and have Peach marry him, and it's up to Mario, Peach, Toad, played by Keenan Michael Key, and Donkey Kong, played by Seth Rogen, to stop him and save Luigi. And you gotta help us! This is a movie that I've been anticipating for the better half of the last year. Like most people, I grew up playing the Mario games, and it's always been entertaining for me to play them. I haven't seen the last Mario movie, but I haven't heard many good things about it, so I'm not sure if I'm missing much or not. But how does this movie hold up? Well, let me tell you. The story is pretty standard, honestly. Judging by the trailer, I thought it was going to be an Infinity War clone. Since it looked like a big evil bad guy collecting magic artifacts to do evil things and we have to stop him. But it's actually the normal guy who wants more out of life is transported to a magical world where he has to stop an evil threat and becomes a great hero type story. You know, the kind where we follow the journey of the hero or something like that. It's one of the most common story tropes and I think they follow it by the numbers. But it's not bad. I thought it was done well. It's one I feel fans might like, since there are a handful of references and background gags that a lot of fans would pick up upon. For example, the music of the movie is the music of the games, but given an epic movie theme translation to them. They even have the Super Mario Bros. Super Show theme in this, and there's even a scene where Mario and Luigi eat lots of spaghetti! They're cute little easter eggs that are nice to see and hear when they happen, and I don't think they overstay their welcome or seem too pandering to the fans. The animation is really nice, the character designs are true to the games, and the backgrounds are really well detailed. The animators of the movie really got the look of the game down to a T. The characters are mostly well developed from the games. I like the brotherly connection that Mario and Luigi have. The scenes where they are together are really great, and the two have wonderful chemistry. The only thing is that when they are by themselves, they are... just alright. Not bad, just not as good as they are together. Mario is kind of a standard hero type, the kind that is good and wants to do good and is fine in that type. I don't think he's too developed in this, but I can't complain about how they treated my favorite character too much. Luigi is now the damsel in distress in this, and because of his familial bond with Mario, you do want to see him get rescued. Peach is given a nice update as more of the mentor for Mario rather than the damsel in distress of the games. Even when she becomes captured by Bowser, she always has a plan to escape, and she only allows herself to get captured for the sake of her people. The only big problem I have with her character is that she says the mushrooms made her their princess when she got old enough, but with no other authority around, shouldn't they have made her their queen? It really doesn't make sense that they would keep calling her a princess if she's the head of authority in the Mushroom King. Toad is fine as well as the comedic sidekick who tags along, and he does that role pretty well actually. I really have nothing to complain about him. The best has to be Bowser. Jack Black just brings this character to life, making him both threatening and funny as well. The piano scene in particular had me in stitches, let me tell you. It's, it's probably my favorite part of the movie. It just comes the heck out of nowhere, and yet it's just so odd and so entertaining that you just can't help but enjoy it. Just like the other great villain songs in recent movies. Sometime you got to see him. I'm gonna fuck you softly. The entire cast actually does their job well. I would have liked to have seen Charles Martinet as Mario like everybody else, but Chris Pratt is okay. They establish that his Italian accent is staged for the commercial, and I think he does alright in the role. He's passable. I mean, he spent his whole life stomping Koopas. So, he at least has experience on that front. I like Anya Taylor-Joy and Jack Black in anything they're in, and they really make their characters the two best in the movie. Same goes for Kevin Michael Richardson, who is almost unrecognizable as Bowser's hype man, Kamek. The scenes with Bowser are really entertaining, and, like I said with the piano scene, are some of my favorites in the movie. <laughs> Seth Rogen, as I said, is Donkey Kong in this, and he does his Seth Rogen laugh, so all Seth Rogen fans have officially been serviced. 
All in all, I liked seeing this. I think it was a fun and entertaining movie that does the game justice and will entertain fans and kids alike, which, being its target audience, means it's doing a pretty good job. So ignore all the naysayers that would say that this is a bad movie and just go and check this movie out. It's a solid four stars movie. Well, that's all we have today, my wonderful viewers. My name is Robert Moore, and thank you for watching.